Hi, Dyslexic Genius here, Brett Hurt. I now I'm going to take the frozen bearing out, the Babbitt bearing that has a little bit of lead in it for lubrication. But I'm not a big fan of taking a chisel and a punch and starting to punch this out because the Babbitt material, you're like this, and it because it has a 3 8 hole in it, it's going to go this way instead of in. So the thinner it is, the easier it is to get out. The reason I start with 3 8 is because the bearing on the mandrel shaft itself is 3 8 I use a drill set, quarter to half. I started out with a 3 8 The first few drills are going to be a little tough, then it's just going to start dripping it through ripping through it. Remember I used this to get the mandrel shaft out and it kept it straight and, and it did not bend it, the wood piece. You, you can't use the drill this way, you have to flip it over. It's better to get it, the drill running Sometimes they stick. I'm going to show you a trick. Great, my battery died right in the middle of the video. Well, let's fix that real quick. Now, because I have metal bearing material still left in here and here, you can move it side to side. Watch. Won't that hurt the casting? No, you're only taking out the bearing material. So you can't break the casting when you you're doing this? You can't break the casting. You really don't want to beat on things on a phonograph. And you can see here how it's getting thinner. This will probably be the last one I use. Eye protection should be worn. Oh yes, eye protection. So you got it thin enough to where you I could... Got, I got it thin enough to where it, it should pop out.
if you get this far and it won't pop out, you want to use a jeweler saw so you can take the blade off here, set it inside, and then saw it. That way you can saw the bottom. You can rotate this way and saw, saw in on the bearing. Okay, so how do you take the blade off that? A jeweler saw. We'll just do this. And then you thread it through. Mm-hmm. And now you're just going to saw it. Take it like that. And you can see the line in here, and then we'll come this way. Gently so you don't break the blade. Or you can take an old hacksaw and grind it down so it'll fit in there. So this is how you do it. If it doesn't work, if you don't have a jeweler saw, take a hacksaw blade, grind it down on the end so it'll fit in here, and you can saw it out. Be gently not to hit the outside of the casting. This is a little complicated, but that's my tip for the day.